Hey, this is Carlo. Welcome to my video lecture. And today we are learning how to do some basic video editing using DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, please be reminded that this is the free version and you can download this from the Blackmagic Design website and I will be providing a link at the description below. After the loading screen, the project manager window will open and this is where we can create a new untitled project or open your recent projects. If you already have specifications for your project, you can set it already at the project settings. Just click on the gear at the lower right portion. Here you can change your timeline format, resolution, frames per second, aspect ratio, etc. Currently, it's set at 1080p and 24fps. First and foremost, let me explain to you the interfaces of Resolve. Here at the bottom, you can find seven tabs, starting with Media, Cut, Edit, Fusion, Color, Fairlight, and Deliver. Basically, this is like an assembly line in creating or producing videos. Starting off with Media, this is where we import our clips, audio, and other materials. Here at the upper left corner, we can find the directories and its subfolders will show up beside it. To add materials, just choose and simply click, hold and drag it to the media pool. You can select all by pressing Ctrl A or just choose specific files by holding Ctrl and left clicking with your mouse. The cut interface is for fast turnaround jobs and this is perfect for news, video blogs, documentaries that needs to get edited and published quickly. Next is the edit interface. Basically, this is where we will spend most of our time in editing. Fusion is for creating visual effects and motion graphics. Color is of course for color grading. Fairlight interface is for editing or adding effects on our audio. And lastly, deliver. This is where we will render our final output. Going back to media, if you want to inspect the properties of a certain clip, just click on the clip and toggle the metadata inspector at the upper right. You can also inspect its audio properties by toggling audio. Now let's try adding one to the media pool. Take note that if your raw clip's FPS is not matched with the timeline's FPS, Resolve will ask you if you want to change to match or retain your current timeline's FPS since our timeline is at 24 FPS and this video clip is at 60 FPS. To remove a clip from the pool, just select and press delete. For this video lecture, I'll just choose three clips and the background audio from my past project. And after adding it down to the pool, let's jump to the edit interface. Notice that the contents of your pool is also here at the edit interface. And to create a new timeline, just right click on the mouse, timelines, then create new timeline or Ctrl plus N. Hit create. Or if you drag a clip here, it will automatically create a timeline for you. To rename your timeline, just click on the tag and type. Hit enter. Let's add the other two clips. Now to cut a clip, just press B or toggle the blade edit mode here and simply cut anywhere. Press A to go back to selection mode. You can also trim the clip by hovering your mouse to the edge and click hold and drag. Playback by pressing spacebar. Now if I want to move frame by frame, just click left or right on the keyboard. Let's say I want to cut it here. 
I'll press B and cut. Hit A and select and hit backspace to delete the other part. Let's undo that for a moment by pressing Ctrl Z. Hitting delete instead of backspace will adjust the whole timeline at the right of the playback. Enabling position lock will lock all materials in place, letting you use the delete command safely. While the link selection is enabled, you can select the video and its audio together. Disabling it will unlink selections for both. The snapping tool lets you snap your materials in place, next to other materials or the playback. Now let's say I want to cut it just before it hits the set. To zoom in and out of the timeline, just hit Ctrl plus or minus. Hold and drag the middle mouse button to move around your timeline. Now to add a fading effect, just move the cursor to the corner of the clip and drag the pin inwards, depending on how long you want the fade to be. You can also add different video transitions in between clips. To add titles on your video, under the toolbox here, Click on Titles and click Hold and drag a text layer to the timeline. Click on the text layer and you can change its properties by hitting Inspector at the upper right corner. Here you can change the title, font, size, tracking, spacing, etc. And likewise, any other materials in the timeline, you can also add a fading effect on your texts. If you want to duplicate a text layer, just copy-paste on the timeline. Add additional music or audio by just dropping it on the timeline and it will add an audio track automatically. You can adjust the clip volume and other audio properties under the inspector. Likewise, you can also adjust the audio level on the clip itself by click, hold and dragging up or down at the audio waveform. You can also fade out any audio layer by clicking the corner pin and dragging it inwards. Now let's try playing it back. Let's now select everything by hitting Ctrl A and dragging it to the beginning of the timeline. Next should be the color grading, but we will skip that for another video lecture. Let's jump now to the deliver interface. Resolve already prepared presets for us, 
but it's better if we adjust it according to our specs. So here you can change the file name, location on where to save your render. You can change the format and codec here. Now for the resolution, please be reminded that rendering higher than your timeline resolution will give you a warning. So it's best to change first your resolution at the project setting before you even proceed to deliver. And now all we have to do is to add to render queue and to start our render. Now I hope you learned the basics in editing in Resolve. Please do watch out for more lectures like these, particularly my next lecture about how I color grade my videos. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video and enjoy editing.